In the veins and arteries of a democratic society, journalism is the lifeblood. It is the watchdog of government actions, the voice of the voiceless, and the mirror reflecting society's triumphs and tribulations. Yet, when the guardians of truth are threatened, democracy trembles. In a recent event that has sent shockwaves across the globe, two journalists were harassed and threatened by armed men while covering a demolition in Angeles City, Pampanga. Rowena Weng Kehada, a well-known and respected journalist, vanished without a trace. The last thing known about her was her confrontation with armed members of the demolition team hired by Clark Hills Properties Corporation. They forcibly took her belongings, after which she disappeared. Quejada was not the only journalist targeted. Joanne Manabat, another reporter on the scene, was also harassed by the armed men. The demolition was a violent affair, leaving at least seven individuals injured in its wake. Amidst the chaos and violence, Quejada was eventually found hiding in a resident's house. A chilling testament to the dangers faced by journalists in the field. This incident is closely related to an event reported earlier where residents in Angeles defended their houses against violence from police and private security. This incident is not an isolated event, but a symptom of a larger issue. The threats and violence faced by journalists worldwide are all too common. The freedom of the press is under siege. When journalists are threatened, it is not just an attack on individuals, but an attack on the principle of truth, transparency and accountability. This harrowing incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safeguarding the freedom of the press. It underscores the need for stringent measures to protect journalists who often put their lives on the line to bring the truth to light. It's a call to action for all democratic societies to ensure that the voices of journalists are not silenced by intimidation or violence. As we reflect on these recent events, we must remember that a free press is a cornerstone of a democratic society. It is the vessel through which the truth flows, the beacon that guides us in times of uncertainty, and the bulwark that guards against the erosion of our democratic values. When journalists are threatened, we all stand to lose. The implications are far-reaching, affecting not just the individuals involved, but the very fabric of our society. In the end, the incident in Angeles City, Pampanga, is not merely a story about journalists in danger, it's a story about the state of our democracy, the value we place on truth, and the length some will go to suppress it. It's a story that needs to be told, not just today, but every day, until the day when journalists can do their jobs without fear.